Blackpink is back with their highly anticipated album after a nearly two year wait. Indeed, Blackpink never disappoints. Despite the grievances about the lack of songs on the album, netizens couldn't get over the diversity of the tracks. The song Happiest Girl gained attention after Lisa's flawless vocals could be heard. Many also pointed out just how much this album has proved that Lisa is a true all rounder when it comes to being a K pop idol. Billboard ranked Yeah 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 as the third best song in Born Pink, and like many others, they were really impressed with the voice of the songwriter Jisoo, and they also expressed their excitement for her upcoming solo project. Many K netizens have voted that Hard to Love might be the best B side track among the other strong candidates, and they are looking forward to Rose's performance on the world tour. Meanwhile, fans were really impressed with Jenny's all English rap and its powerful lyrics in the title track Shut Down. In her rap part, the Chanel Global Ambassador dissed haters and referenced their untouchable fame. Lyrics like, Bunch of wannabes that wanna be me, and, We don't buy it, we request it, they were a whole new level of badass. Fans took to social media to express excitement over this new iconic rap. They completely agreed with her words, insisting that it was so true. Others called it what it might as well be a diss track. Even though all of the members slayed in the album, fans still have one thing to complain about about the title track. The phrase, Where's Jisoo? and Jisoo Solo were trending worldwide. When many saw the thumbnail for the shutdown video, they were shocked to see that while Jenny was the focus, Rose and Lisa were also in the shot. Yet, they quickly noticed that Jisoo was not present on the thumbnail in any way. However, I think YG may have intentionally used this thumbnail with a specific purpose, because it is symbolic, and we will talk about this later in this video. There is another reason why many people are disappointed that when looking at the Born Pink tracklist, they noticed a solo song from a member. Rather than it being Jisoo, the only member without one, it was the main vocalist Rose. Although many would have had mixed reactions to Jisoo's first solo track being promoted under the group, it would have been better than none at all. Of course, Blink's concerns are not aimed at the members but at YG Entertainment themselves. Hopefully, we will get an announcement from YG about Jisoo's solo projects soon. While everyone is worried about the girl's contract renewal, perhaps we have received some positive signals. Shutdown pretty much told us everything we need to know in the film clip. The girls shut the doors on their old songs and turned the lights out in the garage. They jumped in an elevator going up. And entered a whole new garage, with rooms ready to fill with new MVs. The symbolism is pretty clear. They aren't disbanding, but they aren't sticking with the same old sound either. I think the whole package that was born pink was one last hurrah for the blinks that loved that classic black pink sound. I would expect them to come back sooner this time around, and things are going to be different. I guess it'll be less of the traditional K pop formula and more of a Western focused sound targeting global appeal. And showcasing more of what the girls can do as artists in their own right. They've been heading in this direction for quite some time, but I'm guessing they negotiated more creative freedom. The explicit songs show that they're willing to take risks to find broader appeal. A new era is coming in, just like the elevator in the MV suggests, it's going to be on another level. Today, Lisa had an interview with CR Fashion Book Issue 21, and the interviewer also mentioned Blackpink entering this new chapter. And although Lisa hasn't specifically talked about this, we understand that the girls are entering their new era. Yesterday, BTS's Taehyung reportedly attended Blackpink's private party for Born Pink. JTBC reports that this is the first time V and Jennie have hung out with each other in a public setting. Today, a blurry photo that appears to have been taken from a video is going viral on social media. Although it is unclear if this blurred photo is real or not because the original video has not been found, taking advantage of this, it seems that some websites and YouTubers have reported on Jennie and Taehyung's relationship. I think YG should make an official announcement about this rumor. We will support Jennie no matter what.